Hello friends, welcome back. This right here is my fall haul and I am going to share it with you and I'm super excited. This is a first. So this year I decided I wanted to decorate for fall. I wanted to make the house a little bit cozy and I wanted to really embrace what um, the fall and autumn season have. So all the cozy comforts of the fall season, just the coziness of being in the house and there is a different type of vibe and energy that happens or that is created when all the fall stuff is out, all the different scents are out. It's just a really, really nice experience. So I've actually never really fully decorated or like intentionally decorated. I've always wanted to and it just never um, came to to fruition. So this year I decided I'm going to do it and once I made up my mind to do it then all my creative juices started to flow and things just started to go a little bit crazy in this mind. But I went to a few different places and I collected some fall decor which I'm going to share with you and I'm also going to tell you where I got everything. Um, winners, Marshalls are pretty much where I got most of my stuff but I also got some stuff at Spring Ridge Farm. That is a really great place to find. Like if you have a farm nearby and there's a little like gift shop, there are you there are usually a lot of really cute, uh, unique type things. And what I love about the farms is that every time, because I know about the farms because I've bought stuff for Christmas at them. the farms. You showing them? Yeah. I know, but I'm talking, okay? Just wait. So I know about the farms because I, at Christmas time, my mom and I would go to the to Spring Ridge Farm specifically to their gift shop and we have collected decorations over the years and you don't find those decorations anywhere else and that's what I love about going to a farm. So of course, when I decided I wanted to decorate for fall, going to Spring Ridge was one of the things I wanted to do because I knew I would find something in there and yeah. I definitely did. Right, so um, that is a quick tip on, you know, when you want to find um, stuff for fall or even for Christmas, checking the farms is a really great place. So without any further ado, I'm going to give you an overview and then we're going to get into every single piece. And then after this video, we will get to decorating and you're going to do all of it with me because I'm bringing you along. So grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or whatever makes you feel cozy, a blanket, cuddle up on the couch and happy watching. This is an overview of everything that I have, my fall haul, and I'll go through each piece and show you what it is and where I got each piece. So let's get to it. So these picks are actually new. I found these at Spring Ridge. They have like these beautiful tones in them. What I liked about this one is that they had some red and they had some squash, acorns and some different types of berries. These I actually had from before. So I had a few fall decorations um a garland and these i actually didn't even remember i got these it's when i went to take the garland out of storage i found these i have eight of these and i was so excited to find them so it was nice to get this one that had some leaves in it and it would be nice to you know if they go very well together like this as well i was thinking of uh, using it on a tear tree um and inside of like a mug so you just like stick them inside so I have three of these. I thought I picked up four, but I only have three and I have different colors. I might find another one because I have two of these and I'm pretty sure I picked up two of these because I don't normally do things in even in odd numbers. I always do things in even numbers, but honey was playing with them. So that might be why I can't find the extra. So I have these guys and then these picks were ones that I had gotten from before. So these are the Ashland brand from um, Michael's. So I have these, which have little, uh, I think these are acorns, right? Like little acorns on them. So, so pretty. And then I have these with little pumpkins on them. These with little pumpkins. I have like a nice brownie, ready one, orangey, then a brown one, then a 
a yellow one and then I have this one that has brown and white cream type pumpkin so they're all really really cute and I have two so I have two of each yeah so I have hold on sorry I have three of each one so I have three acorns three of these pumpkins and three of the white ones so those are all my sticks so my sticks I'll use in different places throughout and this actually I found these in my storage bin as well and these I want to say came from Dollarama I'm pretty sure they came from the dollar store I have um, six of these and they're just like you know like light little squashes uh this is when i was trying to get a few fall decorations in the past and i really wasn't sure what i wanted to do or how to decorate for fall and so i just picked up a few random things so this was one the garland that i'll show you later on is one and then these sticks and i found these in storage as well these little guys i found at spring ridge as well so this is the same place i got these sticks here they are so precious actually seth and lexi chose them so seth chose one lexi chose one and each of them represent each of them so i think this one is lexi's own and this one's seth's own i'll have to double check and ask them to make sure i got that right but they chose them and it was so cute i don't know if i've ever recognized that gnomes were a thing for fall i know gnomes are something for christmas like they you see a lot of gnomes for christmas i never knew that they were fall gnomes so this is something i'm seeing everywhere as you can tell i got these little guys these little guys we actually just randomly found in dollarama as well in the dollar store this year they had quite a few of them so this one has the leaves on his hat seth chose this guy and he has a little pumpkin in his hand lexi chose this little guy so has some vines and some acorns and it says fall on it and they're really really cute these um these were four dollars for one yeah so these were four dollars each and so those are two little guys so we have a couple gnomes not even knowing that fall gnomes were a thing um these i was so excited to find this so this is actually two towels but i was using this towel already today so i have that one is in the kitchen so you get two towels and two of these little hand mitts and i was so 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 excited for this um I think once I put my mind to finding stuff for fall and decided that I wanted to decorate for fall and I was all into Mickey, everything just kind of fell into place. So I loved the fact that I found a Mickey um, fall set for the kitchen. It was super cute. And then another time, so this was at Marshall's. And then another time I went back to Marshall's, I found this one. And of course, they had no more Mickey, but they had this one. And what I loved about this one is the tones in it so i like that they have some blues in there and it's not just all orange and all brown um because i find with the fall stuff you could tend to be like as much as they are different tones you could very easily be all orange and yellow and uh like browns so i love the fact that they had this color in there and it says welcome to our pumpkin patch and i found it was such a cute thing to just have hanging in the kitchen and this is the um so it's on both sides which is nice because not all towels come like that and this is the one that goes with it as well so one is just leaves and one is um with the little this honestly with this cluster of pumpkins this honestly has been such a huge inspiration for me this color scheme I have just been staring at this towel since I got it and I just keep getting inspired. I love seeing the tones, as I said, the different types of pumpkins, the way that they've implemented the cool colors into the warm colors. And I think that's what really gets me with this and having the, the cool colors in there because for autumn, you don't normally see cool colors. You always see warm colors. So I love that they've done that and this is I think this is one of my favorite pieces that I've collected so far for this fall I found I yes I did it I found a Ray Dunn mug in Marshalls as well 
it says thankful. I have a funny story to tell you about this. Um, it was $6.99. I want to see what all the hype was about. This is my first Ray Dunn mug. It says thankful. To be honest, I wish I had found one that said grateful or blessed. But I'm hoping that I could find those two and then I'll have thankful, grateful, blessed maybe. I don't know. But this is my first one. It is a huge mug. Um, and I just wanted to see. I was really happy to find it. Ray Dunn is like huge a lot of people decorate with radon stuff i have seen a lot of tear trays um with radon stuff on it either pumpkins or mugs or um cream and sugar bowls etc and i would just wanted to see what i could do with it and if i really wanted to keep it as part of my decor i found this at walmart and i found this was really cute to fit onto the tear tray that i have so Maybe I should have started with the tear tray, but um, this is just a small little um, decoration. It's only when I came home I realized this had happened, but and I couldn't find another one, so say la vie. Um, but it says fall breeze and autumn leaves, and I really liked the tones. I figured it would work, and it's actually small enough to fit on the tear tray. This guy, I actually have two of them. Look, the other one here. These guys came from Spring Ridge as well, and I was so happy to find these. I fell in love with these. Look at that, and they're soft and they're squishy. And I don't know, I just something about them just screamed, Take me home, take me home. So I took two of them home. Of course, I wanted to take them more, but I wasn't sure where I was going to put them and how many I would want and need. So I just took two. Can't go wrong with two, at least you have a pair. These I found in the dollar store actually the same time I found the gnomes and there were a few different colors and I the, we picked up the two orange ones. They actually had like a green, kind of like this color here um, and it was really pretty but the kids were like, they don't want green and I'm like, yeah, we need the green man. Anyways. This So this is the first tear tree I have ever done. I found this tear tree. Okay, my hands feel a little tired from holding the camera, so I am going to sit and I'm going to show you the rest. So this is a tear tray. So this is the first tear tray I've ever done. I've wanted to get a tear tray. I wanted to try doing it and see if it's something that I wanted to, you know, have in the house and have on the kitchen island. So this one I found at Winners this year and I found this in back in August when I went um, to look for stuff for Honey's bedroom. And I loved that it wasn't like it, the, the ones that you find everywhere. It has a little pumpkin on top of it and it's made of this, um, what is this, brass-ish type material. Um, it was $16.99. And uh, as I said, I found it at Winners. And I really liked it because I actually went on Amazon and I was looking for uh, tear trays. And I was I actually was looking for wooden tear trays because I love like the wood. Wood is also really nice to use for fall stuff as well. And then I ended up finding this one and I really, really liked it. So I was so happy to find it. So that is my tear tree. And as I said, you know, like, it's so, so cute to fit underneath there. Look at it, how it fits underneath there. So the idea was just to oops, collect a few pieces of stuff that I think that would be able to fit um, in it and then try to figure out. So as you can tell, as I mentioned, like some people used the really done stuff, but this is just like just underneath there. So I couldn't fill it. And I didn't know if I wanted white on the tear tray. But when I decorate, and I'll show you exactly how I have, how it comes together and what I ended up putting on it. And, um, hello. I wanted to ask my, I want to ask this. That's a tear tree and these little guys and my pumpkins. So we have these pumpkins, these pumpkins are actually Lexi's pumpkins. They're actually not mine, but pumpkins. And these pumpkins are from a Canadian Superstore. So we found this one just randomly and she loved it and she held on to it. And when my brother was here, um, he bought it for her. And then when we went back, we found another little one and they should be going into her bedroom for decorations. But so far we've been using it on our table and um, on the TV console. And then I have 
this that we found in Dollarama as well. It says Autumn Blessings. We found it was so cute and it's a big fun. Uh, and I thought to have it on the tea tree and if it didn't fit on the tea tree, then I would just put it on the kitchen counter. So we'll see how that works out. And then I found this. I found this in Marshalls. If you don't understand why I picked up a piece of wood, I completely get it, but I just had a vision. As soon as I saw this, I had a vision for it and we'll see how everything comes together. Hint, if you saw my Thanksgiving video that I posted, then you would know that I, um, what I did with this. But if not, stay tuned for my video when we decorate and then you'll see what I do with it. So this was actually $12.99 and the one thing I liked about it, and I had to ask myself in the store if I really wanted it because of this, this piece, as you can tell here, is slanted, right? And it tapers down. So if it is that I decided to put anything on it, I have lost this surface area right here. But then I was like, I like how unique it is. I really do like the fact that it's not just all the same thickness and maybe I could figure out something to do with it, but we'll see. So this was at Marshall's, I found it, and it was $12.99. Why is it like this? It, that's just how it came. And that's yeah. usually what you find with wooden things, that it uh, doesn't it... have a defined shape like it all oh, it is unique. Oh, that is that. Oh, I found these napkins as well at Marshall's. These uh, little pumpkin napkins that say thankful, and I found it was so cute, so pretty. So we have those, and then I have my candles. These candles, I swear I could have just done a whole video alone on like a candle haul because these candles, I have so many of them. I have a few more to show you, and they are just, oh my gosh, so good. So this one is called Pumpkin Spice. This one is Harvest Pumpkin, Nutmeg, and Brown Sugar. This brand, DW Home, you get at Marshalls, Winners, Home Sense, um, over here in Canada. I know in the States, you probably have home goods as well, but it is so delicious. Mm. And I love that. So actually my phone is propped up on the other candle that I wanted to show you. So I'll show you that after when we go over to the living room because I have the rest of candles over there to show you. But the what I like about these candles too is like the jars are like just so gorgeous. Like I can reuse this after the candle burns out. Like I could keep this as well. And I love the cover with the little pumpkin. And it's just so, so nice. And the other one that I have you propped up on is um, a white candle. And the top of it is just absolutely gorgeous. There's a pumpkin on it. And it's like, it's just so pretty. I'll show you. And that one smells divine as well. So maybe should i do a separate candle video i feel like i could go into a whole other spiel with a candle video you know what i feel i'll do a separate video with candles so i'll kind of show you everything actually no because I did. no let's do a separate video let's do a separate video of candles and we will just do this one with deco with home deco how about that so that's everything that i have here i did get two pumpkins they actually two um, redone pumpkins that I found and I will show you that as well and I'll tell you my thought process with picking up those pumpkins. Oh, my tablecloth was actually a tablecloth that I found in Winners and this was also to do with like an autumn theme as well and um, I also have my flowers. So my flowers are sunflowers so I get my flowers at the grocery so this time I picked up some mums right so I picked up some mums and then we have these like I think they're called astro bees um these flowers and I love picking up these tones because they all like give you fall vibe the fall and autumn vibe and then I have some sunflowers so actually I'll show you right here so I have some sunflowers right here and I threw some mums in here with the sunflowers this is the candle that I was telling you about. This is the other candle that I got. And it is Toffee Caramel Latte, the same DW Home um, candle. And it's just, this one smells divine as well. Oh my gosh. And they are not too, what I love about these candles, they are not too toxic smelling. Like they 
uh, really, really yummy, but they're not too strong and they're not not strong enough. Does that even make any sense? I'm pretty sure it does, right? If you understand, if you love candles, you'll understand me. I'm pretty sure. So. <laughs> This is what happens when you try to do things with one hand without a tripod. Okay, there we go. So, see, that's it there. And look at this. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. But again, I could use this again. So, like, when we're doing decorations again next year, just look at this. Look at this a second. Like, if we were to put this on the tear tree. That right there, bing, bam, boom. You can have that on a tear tree. You could even put this down here. Like, candles are really cool to you. Whew, that's loud. Candles are really cool to use on tear trays as well. So, like, look at that. Like, oh my gosh, everything. Ah, so cute. We will do a decorate with me, and I will show you where I chose to do everything and how I chose to decorate. That is all my fall stuff. If I forgot anything, I will um, show you when I'm doing a decorate with me. And I'm pretty sure I didn't, though. So, this is the beginning of my fall decor. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I'm really happy that i chose to embrace this season this year this season has definitely been a special one uh this part of the year has really been a special one for me this year specifically with so many um life changes happening um so i'm really happy for that and yeah i'm excited for my fall all right so I got the pumpkins to show you. They were in the living room, so I grabbed them. So this is the pumpkin that I got. It says gather, and this is a redone pumpkin. So when I had gone to Winners back in August, when I first saw the fall stuff, I barely saw any redone stuff. And then all of a sudden, last week or something like that, or two weeks ago, they have an insane amount of redone stuff for the fall. So I grabbed this pumpkin and one other pumpkin I'm going to show you now. Now, this pumpkin just like caught me. It just said, oh, it was just all me. And just remember, you remember how I was telling you about the cool tones being mixed in with the warm tones and how I love that so much? Oh, well, you got to see this pumpkin. And you all know that teal and those colors are my favorite colors. That's my like love language. So you will understand the excitement of this one it is so gorgeous um and you know what i loved about this one the fact that it had the gold nib and it was this color as well and it wasn't like your traditional orange or um like yellowy orange type pumpkin i liked this one but then i was like how am i gonna have a teal bluey pumpkin like where's that gonna go how's that gonna work i'm not sure so I have it and if I can't make it work or if I just don't feel it enough as much as I love it, I might return it. But I just, it's just so funny because I had found this, either this right after or this right before. And it just kind of like was able to tie in there. Mm, it smells so yummy. I, I washed it, that's why. Um, so we'll see because this works really well. But the thing is this wouldn't be in the kitchen. This would be over in the living room. So I'm not 100% sure. So the two spaces that I'm going to decorate are the kitchen and dining area and the TV room. So we have a TV console and just that TV console is what I'm going to decorate. And I don't want it to be too clustered or too cluttered. I want it to be nice and simple with all the cozy vibes. I just want it to feel super cozy. And that's the kind of look and um and decor that I'm going to go for. So if it is that, again, I can't make these little guys work, then I'm going to have to say bye to them. But then there's always next year. So I'm not in a rush. Like I'm not in a, you know, I have to have it type situation. I think like what I have right now makes me so happy. All these little things that I have. I'm totally obsessed with the fact that I was able to start a fall collection this year, fall decor collection. I'm so happy to share it with you. This is really special to me because Christmas is my jam. So I have a ton of Christmas decor and I love Christmas season. I love decorating everywhere. Every part of the house has decorations, but I have always, always, always wanted to decorate for fall and I never got to it. I always found it was like such a, it felt like such a short season coming out of summer. And then if it didn't get cold enough, 
it didn't feel like autumn which is what it is right now hence i am in a tank top it still feels like summer weather today was like 20 degrees outside so it's a little bit weird outside with the weather but this season to me fall and autumn is just the season of change it's a season to let go of stuff and say hello to new stuff and it's a season of growth and it's such an amazing it really is a beautiful season when you see all the color, the leaves change and all the all the amazing colors out uh, i went for a walk yesterday or day for yesterday with the kids and the leaves are just so 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 pretty but anyways so i'm just embracing this season of change this season of growth and just being so grateful and thankful and blessed for you know just the opportunity and just being inspired to do it to be honest um and i'm just really happy to share it with you so i um, hope you're really excited with all the stuff that i got um and then now we are going to decorate so you will come with me and decorate with me now that i've showed you everything and then we'll figure out where everything is gonna go so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed watching all the things that I gathered and we are going to be decorating next. So make sure to stay tuned for that video and I will see you in that video. Bye.